Hey, hey, this is Ralph. And I've changed up some audio settings. I didn't realize you could put filters on your audio in OBS. So I'm going to try that and see if uh, if it fixes it. I've I've been doing some test runs and it seems like there's some popping. I don't know how to fix that really. So I apologize for that. I'm still working out the audio, but you won't be hearing my click. It's not going to drain every all the audio out. I like cringed when I re you know if watched my you deserve two video because it's just unbearably loud and the keyboard will be lower you'll still hear them both but it won't be as unbearable as before now this game was uh requested for, i was requested to play this i'm in a discord indie group and i was requested to play this it's from the site indieexpo.net and it is a uh, jrpg it's an indie game and uh, to be honest, I have to make a complaint about the website itself because I, when I downloaded it, I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to, like, the EX file wasn't working. I don't know why. So I actually went to stream, to Steam Greenlight and went to the, uh, to Terrorbane's uh, official website and downloaded the demo that way. So, uh, we're just going to have to see if, uh, I mean, it, it, it works. I'm in the game now, but uh, it was just kind of frustrating. I couldn't. I don't know. I spent like thirty minutes to an hour <laughs> trying to looking through all the files of what I uh, decompressed, and I just couldn't figure out. So uh, I don't know if, if you have any tips on how to, uh, you know, decompress the the files from te uh, Indie Expo. I'd love to hear it because I've I've never had problems on other websites. So, anyways, we're, we're going to see. This is uh, I'm going to read this. De uh, description presented as a classic JRPG inspired by the 16 bit era. era. <laughs> Terror Bane is a tongue in cheek adventure telling the story of an arrogant developer at his first video game project, either to make you, the player, his unfortunate test of. Now, with all the talking aside, we're going to get into this. If you start a new game, all your progress will be lost. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the Scroll. Press Z to skip. I'm not going to skip it. At the beginning, only the eternal light existed. From the light, Aria was born. Goddess of all that was good and righteous. I really dig the music. Unbeknownst to Aria, however, a great evil arc demon, Xander, was also formed. Rising from the residual shadows of Dark Realm, Zonder envied the beauty of Aria and sent his army of winged demons to destroy her. Something like Gobats to me. <laughs> when Aria saw this army of darkness, she wept tears of sorrow. music. One of these tears streamed down her heavenly cheek, dropping in molten energies of primal creation, originated by Bork, the Undying. Looks like the, uh, blacksmith from Dark Souls. It was so that Bork, moved by compassion of Ariel, took to the skies and, swinging his mighty hammer, forged the ever steel of eternity, a material so great and mighty it could cleave all creation in half. He then gave the ever steel to his faithful servant, Leorian, the winged beast of blazing sun. Leorian, as instructed by his liege, began his voyage among the stars to deliver Eversteel to the hero of legend who could save the goddess. But Leorian was prideful and so decided to, to rest in the skies of a small world, Terra. One of Zonda's lieutenants, Dreadlord, the Borg of Pale Moon, soared through the shadows and stole Eversteel from Leorian while he rested in an escaped hiding where the light of Leorian couldn't follow the dark side of Terra. Driven mad and filled with horror, Leorian searched for the legendary blade, but could not find it. He so began to encircle the earth in great leaps, desperate to find his treasure. But Kib 
Borg was swift and escaped the sun's vengeance. It was so that under the light of its moon and land prospered, and man knew its first realms. In the shadows of the king of men, a new life was about to be born, a hero that would change the destiny of the universe forever. That is a pretty badass picture, I must say, for Jif. <laughs> Epic patience, bug unlocked. Terrabane! Oh, error. <laughs> Press Z to start. Where does has... I wish I could use my mouse. I just... I don't know, it's kind of weird. All right, we're going to go through here. Ooh, I, I do like the uh, the pixelized. I also forgot to mention, this is like my first indie JRPG. I've never played one. Uh, not an indie one, especially. I've played a couple, of, you know, I guess there might have still been indies, but really an inexperienced at this sort of thing. So I'm kind of worried that I'm going to get stuck. Press C. <laughs> and so we meet at last, legendary hero. Your journey has been long and arduous, but finally, I've drawn you here within my dark palace. So let us have at it! It shall be a fitting contest. Come, face your nemesis Zonda, the world shatterer. Your life ends here. This time I shall triumph and drown this world in darkness. We'll attack. Attack! <laughs> Am I really supposed to believe this is everything you've got? Come on! Show me your true abilities! Let's see, oh, I need to do abilities, okay. Well, I'm trying to attack again, apparently. Uh, I can't get out of. Okay, I attacked again by accident. <laughs> Am I really supposed to believe this is everything you've got? Come on! Bring it on! Show me your true abilities! Now I'll go down to abilities like I was trying to do. I will do Ultra Inferno Blast. That sounds pretty cool. Ultra Inferno Blast! Ooh! Man! Arrgh! You are powerful indeed, hero. But don't delude yourself. I won't be defeated. It is not even my final form, because I'm from Dragon Ball. Whoa! Look your demise straight in the eyes, little hero. Bring on the Electro Spike Mag! Electro Spike Mag! Oh yeah! Minus 9,099. Arg! Damn you! Your power is great! But this is only the beginning! Final form, Spug Unlocked. Your senses fool you! Despair in knowing that. I am not Sonder. I am your dark side. The Abyss stares back. Go! Dimension Rift Buster! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! It cut the earth in half! Minus 9,099. No! My power fades, but this is not the end yet! Argonaut's George form. Um, that must have been a mistake! I am sorry, hero, but your Zonda is in another castle! Hey, don't look at me like that! I'm just an innocent barrow! Developer. What are you doing here? This is the game's ending scene. I go to the toilet for just one minute, and you already mess up my storyline. Hey, would you mind? I'm walking here. Do you have any idea what it takes for a poor developer like me to come up with these kind of groundbreaking plot twists? There's just no use with you. I bet you even skipped the scroll introduction. No, I didn't, by the way. 
It's impatient gamers like you that are ruining this business for everyone, you know? I wanna take a drink real quick, I'm... Your raspy voices are taking it out of me. Ah, that's better. No, seriously, this is my big moment! You can't just interrupt me like that. But still, it's better if I take you to the beginning of the game now. Actually, I don't even like this scene that much. Maybe I'll just change it somewhere along the way. What? No! I will not relent! I am Zonder, the World Shatterer. I shall defeat the hero and drown his... something. His blood. If please enter a name, we'll go with Rao. It's short enough. We'll do a capital R. Uh, I have to use Z, apparently. Uh, where's O? Where's O? Where's O? There you are. There you are. I skipped over you a couple times. Here's W and L. There we go. Let's confirm. Deb! What? Really? Is Rao really how you want to be called? Oh, mighty Rao. Rao saved the realm. Can you imagine that? I think it has a good ring to it. I certainly can't. <laughs> but don't worry. Thankfully, I had already prepared a great name for you. Terrorbane. I should have known. That's the name of the game. You're welcome. Winky face. Whiskerburg. We go out. No, we can't go out. Hey, what's your name? Hello, Terrorbane. Certainly, His Majesty must be waiting for you in his royal palace. You'll find it north of here. Just follow the road. I want to talk to you gardeners. Hey! Villager Maggie joins the party. Unforeseen recruit, Bungamon. Oh, here's a glitchy apple. Pear, great join the party. Hey, knight! Sorry, I know a guard shouldn't complain about his work, but being coded to patrol this lousy back alley is truly disheartening. Oh, what I wouldn't give to guard the plaza. Oh, here's, here's a dude. This new war against Ark Damon Zondar really is bothering me. Let's hope it doesn't come to threaten the well-being of our mustaches. <laughs> oh, Ariel, save us all! Oh, the music's glitchy. Hey, another mustache friend. What the? You found door number one! Hey! Are you serious? Give me back my door! You lost door time? <laughs> door. Really? Heroes these days have no shame. Miss Leaves. Can I talk to you about anything else? Look at my mustache. Isn't it simply marvelous? Eh, uh, sure. See through. Oh, that's, that is weird. Hey! Stop right there! Uh, being a god is tough. But at the end of the day, all I need is to gaze at our majestic royal palace to feel refreshed. Oh, how I love my work. Hey. Sometimes my wife goes a bit too heavy on her nagging. I can't. I can feel her breathing down my neck even now. <laughs> wow. Ah, let me out of this. Let's... Uh, here's uh, Mario wearing a peach costume. We Whiskerberg women choose to wear our uh, traditional whis whisker mask with pride. We do it to show our support to the cause of the realm. Although for some reason the new generations don't seem to like it that much. Good whisker day to you, hero. The royal palace is due north. Can't miss it, don't mind me. The king must be waiting for you. My throat is actually kind of hurting. Oh, the legendary hero Rao. Um, no, it's supposed to be Terrorman now, isn't it? I wonder what kind of mustache hides that mysterious helmet of yours. Oh, dear me. Hey, get back here. What? I'm walking on water. 
So that's why my shoes keep getting soaked. <laughs> Saint-like. Let's go talk to this guy before I go on the other side. There has never been a finer sovereign than this majesty mustachio on the first. Literally, the developer forgot to program the others. Uh, what the heck is that? I go to it? No? Okay. Okay. Hey! Out of my way! Bass? Let's see. The door is closed. I no, can't pick up them apples. Kind of just doing a little exploring dialogue hunting before I go on to the king or the palace or whatever. What the matrix? That's kind of cool. To be honest, I find all this mustache shock to be incredibly stupid. But as the sand goes, Whisker Bergens have mustaches in their code. It's a cultural thing. Can't go in that maze or that wooded area. This is a really cool environment. Is that the same guy? So I, okay. We already talked to him. I only have one more person, I believe. Oh, the legendary, oh, I already talked to you. All right. Well, I'll be on my way. Oh, here's some more. What the? That was weird. Hi! Welcome to the Royal Palace. 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 Pal dialogue and put false. Enjoy your st stay! Pay no mind to my calling here. He's not alright in the cold if you catch my meaning. Went in the, cal the palace. Oh, it's inverted. No, I, I, no, I don't want to leave. I'm walking, I'm moonwalking. Moonwalking? Hey, how dare you? Hey, how dare you? Oh my god. They're just floating, I guess, in the air. <laughs> Welcome, oh powerful Terrabane. I am King Norbert Fudden and Mustachio the First. I have been expecting you, our great savior, for a long time. <laughs> yes, yes, I said savior. You are destined to do great things, see? How do I know? Simple. The Japanese language, I don't know if you even can read. So, as you can see, something must be done. But I held you here for long enough. Guards, escort this young man to the temple. Oh, it's a trap door. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh, I can walk. Oh, I'll just... Can't walk there? Wish there was some water uh, animation sounds. And even animation, that would... Just, that, that's not even a big deal. Just It'd be cooler, you know, just... Have more of a uh, atmospheric sound. Dungeon of Destiny. Your destiny is this way. The blue one. I'm not doing it. Whoa, whoa. I guess it's my inventory. I don't need to do anything there. Oh, I'm glitching. Another blue fire. Dungeon of Destiny. Your destiny is still this way. What the? This is weird. Let's look. A rock has appeared. Rock and roll bug unlocked. We'll, uh, we'll attack, I guess. Attack! Zero damage. Your tropo, you trip over the rock. Ow! Well, uh, we'll try an ability. Fire blast, it costs 15, so I don't have the funds for that or any of these. So how do I get back out of this? Okay. Uh, X's. Do I have any items? Oh, I could use this. MP4. Cool. Oh, I still took a hit. But my MP didn't go up. That's dumb. My MP is not even increasing when I use potions. What is this? Tent. HP, MP, restore. You ship over the rock. And I took damage still. What does paper do? Paper! Paper always beats rock. Victory! I should have known! <laughs> 12 XP.
Destiny Sword number 21. Yeah. See? Fun and exciting action. Now I could just let you continue. But I haven't finally done any of the content after the rock encounter. So, hope you enjoyed the ride. I know you had fun with all your going around and fighting mighty mineral formations and all the other great moments we had together. But I really have to go now. Seeing you stumble aimlessly through my game inspired me. Now I'm full of bright new ideas to implement. In the meantime, you can just start over from the beginning and find everything you've missed. Yeah, you think yourself so smart, but you actually missed most of the content. In any case, in any event, we'll see each other again over the finished game, I'm sure. Maybe with a better name than around this time. Seriously, press Z to return the menu. And that's Terror Band, 100% of the game completed. I loved it. It was fun. The only problem with it was uh, the downloading. I couldn't download it from the actual site of IndieExpo.net. I'll still put the IndieExpo.net site in the description, and you can, if you want to play this game, it's free. It's a demo. Uh, go ahead and see if you can figure it out, because I couldn't. But, uh, but anyways, that's the only problem, and it, the game itself was awesome. Uh, I, this has a lot of potential. I'm not experienced in JRPGs, like I said, but... That was fun. Like I, I would play the. I'm ready. I want to play the full version. I, I had a lot of fun with that. I, the voices that was cool. The dialogue was creative and funny. There's some references in there. Uh, it was. It, I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I, 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 I hope. I wonder uh, if y'all, if you guys, if you guys uh, liked it too. Let me know in the comments what you think. And let me know if you want me to play more JRPGs. That was really fun doing the voices. I've never actually had a game that I could just do that. You know. Uh, but I. Uh, that was awesome, so I, I liked it. But until next time, I must bid you farewell. See ya! <laughs>